identified in the Aziz process was no confirmation when ordering cash, lack of communication from SBB to branch manager, no feedback, missed delivery date, incorrect denominations received, um, you know, <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> end user client dissatisfaction and staff dissatisfaction. That's what we have identified in the Aziz process. Okay, so opportunities with the tool being processed. The biggest one is service. We are going to improve service across the entire process by automation of notifications and acknowledgements. Um, there's going to be business continuity. There's going to be consistency. Stress levels are going to drop because uh, we don't need to follow up and do all of those things. And from a cost perspective, we're going to reduce it simply by getting it right the first time. So with revenue, we actually said we're going to replace that with a reputation because because we're going to get it right the first time around, we're going to have a great reputation, which will ultimately increase revenue. Mm -hmm. It leaves me three and a half minutes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically uh, R2P processing was designed to take into account all the expectations of the customer, and specifically from the customer, the ability to conduct business. And a lot of people have said in the industry of going towards automated systems, leveraging or forecasting, or going via automated uh, integrations to read um, shortages of cash. What we've gone with is saying, let's take that whole process and automate it anyway. Yes, we're gonna use trending, we're gonna use forecasting. But what happens is after a customer signs up with us, after a certain period of time, instead of having the customer placing an, in, an order entry with us, based on their history, we will automatically, every month, instantiate a standing order. So the first point of entry for the customer is when he receives an email saying, your standard February payment or your standard February delivery will be scheduled for the 25th at 10 a.m with Joe and Bob in band number 12 to the amount of 500,000 Rand in X, Y, and Z denominations as per the history that we've received. That confirmation will also incorporate an automated um, a feedback system which will enable the customer to change that on the fly as per, as per their demands. So for instance, um, a run in the markets would spark the request for additional smaller denomination hand, uh, bills or potentially a bigger float required the customer would then be able to manage those exceptions straight away up front or just say, look, I'm happy with it and carry on. So the customer doesn't actually have to do anything other than see, uh, receive the notification. On our end, the handover now has reduced the need to process the order as received from the customer. And the fact that we have it on, on our books already means that the scheduling can happen earlier. And by that token, it means that also our inconsistency in terms of uh, reliability of delivery will be reduced, or the, the chances of a, a missed date will be reduced. Um, the, uh, so the feedback and the automated notifications <coughs> and acknowledgements will also make sure that the customer, the, the branch manager, is kept in the loop. In the event of a change at any time, they can request that, and then we can also change the denominations as, as needed, as required. The final step, I mean, what we've also got to take into account is that all those other steps from loading the vans and getting them to the customer, that still stays the same. We don't have to worry about our processes in that regards are always, uh, they've been okay so far. But the final step in the puzzle is at the end, post delivery, we have a customer satisfaction mm -hmm. survey, which is also automatically generated from the system, querying the branch manager, was he happy with his delivery? Was it, too, uh, was it on time? And were the denominations and amount correct? And if it is, he could choose to say, keep the standing order for next month, or he can actually tweak and change it for the following month. So in the event of a Brexit or what have you, and they expect to run for three months, he could actually say, please keep this for the next three months at an elevated amount to cover for that, and then we can revisit. Mm -hmm.